It's freedom at last for these 28 students of Bethel Baptist Secondary School in Kaduna State who were released in the early hours of Sunday. They were kidnapped by bandits from their hostels on July the 5th and spent exactly 20 days in captivity. Two soldiers who tried to repel the bandits were killed during the incident. It's a mixed feeling at the school for waiting parents as the bus is conveying the students arrive at the school premises. <laughs> the very point where their nightmare began. <laughs> but they are not the same again. Most of them are looking pale and traumatized. Others sustained swollen limbs and can no longer walk unaided, an indication that they may have been maltreated in the forest by their abductors. For the parents whose children were among the 28, it's a sweet, sad moment as they reunite with their children. The sight of her daughter overwhelms this middle-aged woman, making her lose consciousness. Those whose children did not make the list could not hide their emotions as they weep profusely and resort to prayers. The conditions for the release of the students is still unclear as the school authority denies paying any ransom or even as they say not as much was done by security agencies. We uh, call on all the people that knew about security apparatus and uh, to assist us with uh, information. How could we reach these people? What can we do? We did all that in order to be able to have these children. Finally, the children of today that were released, they were just released by the people who abducted them. They kept them in a place and we went there and found the children there and picked them in our vehicles and brought them. We as a church, we do not believe in ransom and we will not pay ransom as a church because it is not right to go and pay people who have done what is wrong. A spate of kidnapping targeting schools have taken place in Kaduna State in recent time, with no fewer than four schools attacked by bandits and students taken away. Most have later been freed after ransoms were reportedly paid, while some were rescued by security operatives, others paid, sadly, with their lives. Okay. The next one. Elisha, Elema.